The Saturday of the G7 in Quebec City started with menacing anarchists eating a pay-what-you-can wobbly lunch in the park. A light meal is always welcome before exercising. One's freedom of expression. Then civil society groups from across the country set out to legally exercise their charter rights. Present to oversee the orderly and safe expression of said rights were thousands of police in full riot gear. It was readily apparent to all how the $600 million spent on this summit was being invested. Each demonstrator including children and those differently abled, had at least one fully equipped riot officer prepared to assist them in the safe and orderly exercise of their rights. Of course, some might argue that every McDonald's and Starbucks in Quebec City could be paid one million dollars to replace their windows and half a billion dollars would remain in the public purse for a few new hospitals or some public housing or something. But surely, we can all agree that half a billion dollars is money well spent when it comes to protecting multinational business interests from symbolic vandalism. Luckily, on this day, there was no need for the dedicated and well-equipped riot officers to curb any overly zealous expression of charter freedoms. So our men in masks can enjoy their Hilton happy hour secure in the knowledge that a well-earned bonus check will be waiting for them just in time for cottage season. At the G7 demonstration in Quebec City, for Rabble TV, I'm Umberto Da Silva and Oryx Murphy.